Hi guys, my name is Savannah Farron and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a part-time fashion reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. I've only been doing this for about a month. It would mean so much to me if you would stick around, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and follow my journey. Today we're going to be opening a wholesale box that I bought. I bought 10 items for $100, which means that the average price per item was $10 per item. It was supposed to be a mix of high-end brands and low-end brands. High-end brands means that it has an MSRP of $79 and above. Low-end brands means that it has an MSRP of $69 and below. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. First item is an intimately free people crop top. This is an MSRP of $48 and it's a size small. This is super cute, perfect for summer. This is the brand Heather, which I haven't heard of before. Um, it says it retails at $78. It's a size large. This looks like it's a long sleeve top and it's got some ruching at the sides. Okay, this is a guest top, size medium, MSRP of $50. This is a sweater dress. It's got a v-neck. This is cute. Um, I technically wouldn't classify this as spring or summer. I think a sweater dress is more of a fall item, but still cute. Okay, this is a DKNY small um, swimsuit top. This is cute as well. Um, this one doesn't state the retail value, but I'm guessing this piece is below 69. All right, this is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren, size medium dress. This was, this retailed at $102. This is very cute, has an adjustable waist, cute for summer, you can use it as a dress with a slip or a cover up over a bathing suit. Right. This is line and dot size large. This is a dress with a tie in the front. Um, I haven't heard of this brand before, and it doesn't have the price on it, so I'll have to do some research on this piece. But this is cute, very summery. This is Rachel Pally. Um, it's a size, don't see the size, so I'll have to measure that, but this is a dress, I think, maybe it's an extra small, it looks smaller, this is a cute summer, summer color. Alright, this is Foxy Docks, size large. This is very cute. Floral dress. It's got floral appliques and sheer sleeves. It's got a belted waist. This is cute. I like this. This also doesn't state the price, so I'll have to do some research on this as well. It's super cute. 
Okay. This is Raga. Never heard of it before. It's a size small. This is cute. Floral summary. Super long. This is Corral, size small. I think this is sold on Revolve. This is cute, I like the gold details. And it's kind of like a leathery material. Um, overall, not super impressed with the box. Um, it said it was spring, summer, but I feel like a lot of those pieces were definitely more fall or definitely fall pieces like these leggings um a few of the tops and then as for the brands too i'm not super impressed either i don't think that they'll sell quickly um but i'll get them listed and see how they how they do all right hey guys um now that i have done research and was able to look up comps to see the different things that i that came in the wholesale box i wanted to go back and talk about the different things that i received i do think overall that the box wasn't quite as bad as i thought it was i don't know if i will be buying from them again um i'm gonna have to think on it and see how these certain pieces do but I did want to go ahead and talk about each piece that I received. The first piece we're going to talk about is this Anthropology Foxy Doxy Floral Dress. It was originally priced at $198 and sold at Anthropology. Um, I priced it at $70. They did have a few sold comps that were around that price range. So I'm hoping to get $50 to $60 on this particular piece. The next piece I wanted to talk about is this Raga Navy Floral Kimono. I had a really hard time finding comps on this particular piece. I looked at the tag and the tag was handwritten, so I'm not sure if maybe this was a special piece and maybe it was never put into production. I searched um, via the Google image search. I just searched Google, I searched Raga, Navy, Floral, Kimono, I searched a different, a bunch of different search terms. I searched on the website, I looked on Poshmark, and I couldn't find anything comparable. So I priced it at $75 on Poshmark, and I'm not sure if that's too high, too low. I really have no idea, honestly. Um, I did find a kimono on Raga's website that was originally priced at $135. So, really based on that figure alone is why I went with the $75, so I'm hoping I priced it well. Um, we'll see how it does. The next item I wanted to talk about is this Free People crop top. It was originally priced at $48. It's in a size small. I priced it at $35. I sold comps, any, sold comps anywhere from $15 to $35. So I'm hoping to get more than 15, but I really don't have the expectation to get more than 15. This next piece is this line and dot blue tie wrap dress. This was also another hard piece to find. I did find similar dresses. They were knit and then red, and this material is more like a linen material, which would I would assume would retail more than the knit material. Um, compared to those, I went ahead and priced it at $60. I couldn't find the, um, MSRP anywhere. It either, it would, it was either sold at Nordstrom or Evolve, possibly both. So I think $60 was a fair place to start at. The next piece I want to talk about is this Guess Factory Royal Blue Sweater Dress. 
Its original price was $50, size medium. I priced it at $25. So unfortunately, this piece had a stain towards the hem about this big. Um, I went back and forth deciding whether or not I should remove the tag and try to stain treat it. But the brand and being the original retail value, I didn't see it as worth my time to try to take off the tag and try to stain treat it to see if it could be fixed. I do honestly believe um, that it will come out and I put that in the comments. I showed a picture of it, so I don't expect it to sell for a lot. I hope I just get my money back after the Poshmark fees. So we'll see how that does. All right, this Rachel Polly Sammy Pink Bodycon dress size large. So I think I initially said it was probably an extra small or small. Um, on the inside tag at the bottom, it said it was a large. This dress also was a little hard to find. I did find some comps. I went ahead and priced it at 60. I'm hoping to get about 40 out of it. So those are six. And then I already posted a few in my closet. So we'll go to my closet and look at those. So this first piece is Heather Long Sleeve Gray T-shirt. I could not find this brand online. I found one comp in Poshmark for this Heather brand. I think maybe the just the brand name Heather is a popular name, so it's hard to figure out what exactly this brand is from. Um, it did say on the tag that it was originally priced at 78, so I went ahead and priced it at 40. I don't think it's going to sell for that much. It's out of season. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, it has a wrap a wrap tie in the corner and it's coming apart so the hem's a little bit loose so I think it just needs to be stitched back together. I really just want to see it go so I'll probably honestly accept any offers on that piece. Alright this DKNY Olive Halter Tankini was originally priced at $88 so this means that this was one of the higher priced items in the box. Um, I priced it at $40, but honestly, sold comps were looking around $20 to $25. I left plenty of room for negotiation. I hope it goes quickly since it's the beginning of the summer. I think this color of the tankini, tankini is really trendy, so hopefully it'll go quickly. As for the brand, I don't think it's a really quick sell, but we'll see. Um, and then this... Ralph Lauren Paisley Flutter Swim Cover Dress was originally $102. It is sold out completely on Lauren by Ralph Lauren's website. Um, I went ahead and priced it at $50. Again, same as the DKNY. This, the sold comps on this one didn't look too great. They were $20 to $25. So, I mean, at least I should probably make double my money back. But we'll see. And then last but not least, so in between the time I posted a few of these, made the video earlier, went out to eat, something sold. So the first thing I posted was this Corral High Rise Legging in Black and Cafe. It was from Revolve. Um, it originally retailed at $115, but this particular piece is still sold on Revolve's website. I priced it at $70, about within an hour. I got an offer for $60. I went ahead and accepted, and I'm really happy about that. Um, that could puts me on a big part of the way to making the money, the initial investment that I made back into the entire box. So I'm really happy with that sale. Overall, after doing comps and a comparison, I don't think the the box is as bad as I initially thought. I am a little disappointed that a lot of the items that I received were definitely more fall items that I wouldn't consider them summer or spring. Um, as a, a value, I do think they're higher end items, but I don't think they necessarily resell for a lot. 
I do think I'll get my money back, which is a plus. I do think long term I'm interested in looking into their activewear boxes. Um, I might try that next to see how that goes. I'm not 100% sure that I would purchase their women's mixed apparel box again. Um, but I plan on doing a follow up in the next few weeks to see how the rest of these items sell, to see if maybe my opinion has changed. But I'm not sure at this point. I don't know. What do y'all think? Would you buy this box? Do you think it was a good deal paying $10 per item for this box? And I will say that I bought, so the, initially this box was $150 and I had a $50 coupon, which made it $100. So 10 items divided by 100 is $10 per item. So if I were to buy another one, again, it would be $150 divided by 10. So it would increase the price of this item. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please feel free to leave any tips or improvements for my first YouTube video. I hope you guys subscribe and follow along. And I really hope that my videos get better. See you guys next time. Bye.